Hello and welcome back. I'm going to show off the Init RD. What exactly is this thing? Well, it turns out it's a little root file system that's loaded before your regular root file system. It's an intermediate boot stage where your disk drivers and other hardware drivers are loaded. Once that's complete, it mounts your root file system over itself and launches your run level system. So, in order to break this, I'm just going to go to my Linux line, find this root equals bit, and we're going to set it to SDA1 in my scenario, which is actually my swap space. Um, I'm on purpose breaking the boot. So here we go. It's loaded the initial RAM disk, and it's not succeeded in mounting root. If you see this prompt, this type of output, your system's broken for the most part, and you've got to do recovery. Um, fortunately, you can chew root from an environment like this. So if I wanted to chew root into my SUSE install and regenerate the grub files, I would do something like this. All right, so from here, I've got a mostly booted system, but with the caveat of my run level system isn't working. So um, even so, this is not a properly booted system, but it's good enough to pop open YAST, go to bootloader, and make it regenerate all of those config files. Now, most of the time when you end up in the RAM disk, you're going to take a look at dev and SD whatever won't show up. That's probably the most common scenario. Um, that means that your RAM disk is lacking whatever driver is necessary to read your disk. Um, in my scenario, uh, it was just a grub configuration issue, and regenerating the grub file was enough. If it cannot read your hard drive properly, you want to regenerate your initrd file, which can be done by simply reinstalling the kernel or on SUSE running mk initrd. Um, both should work, and if, if you still run into issues at that point, you're going to have to research which module is necessary to include in your initrd in order for it to boot properly, which is usually a bit of research. It's not too hard to do but each distribution will have you include it slightly differently and generate the inner slightly differently. So have fun Googling about. Thanks for watching.